आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर सेकेंड फेज ऑफ माई वी एल एस आई कैरियर जर्नी स्टार्टिंग विद माई इंटर्नशिप एट मीडिया टेक वेर आई वर्क एज ए फ्रंट एंड वी एल एस आई डिजाइन इंटर्न फॉर्चुनेटली आई वॉज एबल टू सिक्योर अ प्री प्लेसमेंट ऑफर एंड कंटिन्यूड वर्किंग देयर एज एन आर टी एल डिजाइन इंजीनियर फॉर सिक्स मंथस हाउ एवर ड्यू टू पर्सनल रीजन एंड दी नीड टू रिलोकेट क्लोजर टू माई हाउस आई हैड टू मेक अ स्विच ड्यूरिंग अ टाइम ऑफ रिसेशन सो टूडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग माई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद सिनोपिस एंड सेडिंग लाइट ऑन द सेलेक्शन प्रोसेस वेन स्विचिंग जॉब्स एज वेल एज द स्किल्स इंटरव्यूअर स्टैंड टू फोकस ड्यूरिंग सच ट्रांजेक्शन Once you have gained experience in the VLSI industry and decide to make a switch, the hiring process typically involves following steps. First one is visit the respective company's career page and apply for a relevant job based on your skills. Thereafter, you will get a call to schedule technical discussion if your resume is shortlisted. And if you perform well in technical interview, then there will be HR interview and package negotiations. Once you get the experience, the written test step is often bypassed. When applying for a job there are generally two options directly go to the career page and apply or seek a referral before applying so i chose the second option and appear for an interview usually the hiring process starts with a normal discussion with the team lead followed by technical rounds there can be any number of technical rounds based on the company's internal hiring process until they are able to make a decision about your candidacy in my case it happened to be three rounds and this video provides a summary of what they asked and how i answered The interviewers put questions in such a way that they can judge your VLSI fundamentals, approach to solve the problem and also to verify the projects mentioned in the resume. I tried to answer or solve everything to the best of my ability. However, there were instances where I made wrong choices as well. But if fundamentals and problem solving approach is there, then there is high probability of selection. So this video will give you an overview of the interview flow in the VLSI field. So let's get started. We will go in steps to understand the interview flow. Usually you connect with interviewer using team or Zoom call and the interview begins. Interviewer asks the first question which is often tell me about yourself. This question is simple and crucial as it sets the flow for the rest of the interview and allows you to showcase your skills. Based on your answer to this question, the interview typically proceeds in two phases. First one is testing VLSI knowledge. This phase focuses on subjects such as digital electronics, digital IC design, Verilog and computer architecture, particularly for a digital profile. Second phase is practical questions based on projects and your prior experience. In this phase, the interviewer asked questions related to my academics or industry projects. They may also inquire about additional skills you gained in your previous companies. In my case, they asked about UVM system Verilog, industry tools and on chip protocols like ahb axi because i mentioned these in the resume so the conclusion is in all of my vlsi technical interviews i encountered tell me about yourself as the first question some interviewers then shifted to questions related to my previous experience and my projects while others focused on vlsi fundamentals regardless of the sequence of phase these two phases were present in all of my interviews the vlsi fundamental questions asked were simple and robust if you have a good understanding of the basics you can answer them easily some important questions in this regard are mentioned in the video description regarding practical experience i mainly received questions about the axi protocol since i was working extensively with the axi protocol during my time at mediatek so i was able to answer most of the questions easily however due to the vastness of axi protocol there were some areas i hadn't explored and i honestly acknowledge the fact in general if you know the answer then respond confidently if you are uncertain about an answer it's okay to admit it but for questions that require your approach or reasoning avoid outright denial instead do your best to work through the problem and engage in a technical discussion with the interviewer drawing upon your knowledge and expertise in most cases that technical discussion and approach would lead to a fruitful result all you need to do is to give your best in approach and increase the probability of selection because in vlsi industry or semiconductor industry problem solving attitude matters that covers my job switch last year but wait was it a good decision to switch